Hello everyone and welcome back to Facebook Live. I'm Anna Brading and this is Mark Stockley. Hi, hi, welcome to uh, Naked Security Live, Anna. <laughs> There's no duck. We don't know what to do. Um, we uh, will be answering questions about WhatsApp today, but um, so leave any questions or comments um, below. Um, Mark, talk to us, what's going on with WhatsApp? Okay, there's two things that we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about the facts and then we're going to talk about the allegations. So let's start with the facts. Okay. So we're here today to talk about a really important reason for upgrading your WhatsApp. If you go to the App Store and you look at the WhatsApp app, under the What's New section you can see, you can now see stickers in full size <gasps> when you long press a notification. Yay! It's pretty special, huh? Yeah, that's great. Uh, there's another reason as well, oh. uh, and that is that the latest version of WhatsApp uh, doesn't let you get spyware on your phone. Oh, cool. Okay, so that, maybe more important. Yeah. Okay. But um, you won't find it on here. Where you will find it is oh, on a. Sorry about that. <laughs> where you will find it is on a very austere Facebook page, which is all about CVE 2019 3568. Okay. And that's a security advisory, uh, all about a vulnerability. Uh, about a buffer overflow vulnerability in WhatsApp. Buffer overflow is a bit old school, isn't it? I know. I can't quite believe we're sat here doing Facebook Live about talking buff- about a smartphone app yep. with a buffer overflow, okay. but we are, and actually we're talking about a really serious yep. buffer overflow. Okay. So often when we talk about uh, bugs, we're talking about problems that you might have, things that people could exploit um, and do bad things with, but what we're talking about here is something that people have exploited. Yeah. So WhatsApp have released this new version. We don't have a lot of information, but what we do know is there's a new version. It, it seals up this hole and that for a period of time, um, uh, WhatsApp have been aware that this has been exploited in the wild and uh, someone has been using it to put spyware onto people's phones. So is it, is it a sort of, do we think it's a mass thing? Do we think it's targeted? Who should be worried? Well, everybody should be worried, and we'll talk about why. Okay. I mean, as with all these things, yeah. just do the update and get on with your lives. Don't worry too much, but everybody needs to, everybody needs to do the update. They need to be sufficiently worried to do that. Yeah. So what this looks like, so now we're really into the allegations. Yeah. Okay, because as I say, the information's pretty thin on the ground. Um, what's been widely reported is um, that this is uh, looks like a targeted attack. Yeah. So uh, the allegation is that this is an attack using something called Pegasus spyware. Yeah. And Pegasus spyware is produced by a company called NSO Group. Yeah. And they produce sophisticated spyware for governments and intelligence agencies. Yeah. And they also provide vulnerabilities, or they also provide exploits to get those things onto people's phones. Okay. And the allegation is that this is an NSO, ex, NSO Group exploit yeah. being used to put an NSO Group product, Pegasus Spyware, onto the phones of select targeted individuals. Okay. Now, in the past, uh, Pegasus Spyware has been used, uh, you know, NSO Group will tell you it's been used to catch terrorists uh, and kidnappers, um, but there are also reports of it being used against human rights activists. Uh, and that kind of thing and in this case there are reports of uh, a human rights lawyer being uh, a victim of this and a researcher at Amnesty Inter- International. Those are allegations, we don't yep. know if those are true or not but the, the pattern of attacks that's being described is very much a targeted attack. Yeah. So this is, this is somebody yeah. using NSO Group products, so not necessarily the NSO Group themselves, yeah. you know, they provide the products, somebody's been using those products to specifically target certain individuals and to spy on those individuals it's okay. not an indiscriminate okay let's see how many phones we can get this onto okay okay so if you update your phone you, you update to the newest version of what's that does that clear any spyware that might be on your phone or how does that work so because we don't know uh, we can't verify exactly what's happened yeah here, all we know for sure is that there is this vulnerability and that uh, whatsapp is saying it has been used yeah um, uh, in the wild, we can't say for sure that what the signs are that you've been compromised or how WhatsApp became aware that you've been compromised. Um, and I think the, the, the protocols that you would need to go through if you're a person of interest, yeah. like a politician or a human rights lawyer, are sort of beyond the scope of this video. Yeah. What people need to focus on is you probably weren't a victim of this yep. because uh, WhatsApp has 1.5 billion users 
but you could be in future. Yeah. Okay, this vulnerability exists. Uh, we know about one way that it's been used, but of course it's not limited to that. Yeah. Okay, all we're hearing about today is a particular kind of attack, but that doesn't stop somebody else finding the vulnerability and doing something completely different with it. Yeah. And, you know, trying to compromise lots of phones or creating products that um, yeah. uh, use this vulnerability in some way. Yeah. So, this is kind of, on the one hand, it's a story about um, some, uh, probably quite a small number of victims um, who, uh, I mean, if you're a victim of this, then I think that's really bad news mm. for you. Most people won't be victims. Yeah. Um, but an exploit and a, a vulnerability like this is bad news, uh, and you don't want to give people the opportunity to use it against you in the future. Yeah. And that's why it's important for everybody to get the update. Yeah. Um, not just people who think they might be targets. Yeah. Okay. So, and and how do you know if you're if you've got the most the most up to date version? Uh, it's very easy. So the easiest way is probably go to uh, Google Play or the App Store. And if you look, you see there, if it says open, like it does on my phone, that means you've already got the latest version. And if it says update, that means there's a version for you to update to. Yep. And it's as simple as that. Okay. Um, we've got one comment. Someone said, I don't see why people still use this. I mean, seriously, that's a question. Should we all be moving from WhatsApp? Should we be on Signal? What, you know, what's, the, what's the deal? Um, should we all panic? <laughs> we shouldn't panic. Um, I think. I think actually this is probably more of an interesting question for you. You hear about WhatsApp being used by politicians, yeah. Um, and I, I think it's probably if if you're a engaged in, uh, if you're a sort of person of interest, yeah. the kind of person who might use the Tor browser, the kind of person who really cares about their anonymity, yeah. Um, then uh, you might you might ask yourself if WhatsApp is the right tool, yeah. if, it, if or if more generally a sort of unofficial back channel is the right tool. Yeah. Um, but I don't think you know this is software vulnerabilities happen all the time, yeah. and this is a particularly bad one in a particularly pl popular platform. Yeah. But it's not like we see this every week. Yeah. You know. Um, so I don't think I would recommend any other apps over and above this yeah just be aware just yeah get the yeah. update okay so that's about it um from us this week thank you mark and thanks for watching uh until next time do we say that on this or stay secure why not yeah stay secure <laughs>